So this grant project was funded by USDA and RCS uh, under the umbrella of CIG, the Conservation Innovation Grant. So this is a systems project where we are going to evaluate uh, the adoption of cover crop, the agronomics of cover crop, as well as uh, irrigation systems. Um, and we are going to look into or investigate the effects of cover crop and irrigation and how these two practices help reduce the nutrient losses uh, into the environment, mostly nitrogen and phosphorus. This grant is a unique grant uh, and it's going to help us uh, understand not not only the economics or the economics part, but uh, we are going to look into the social aspect of adoption of conservation practices. One of the goals of the grant is to work on co-development to bring networks of farmers together. And I think when growers get together and they can learn from the struggles and the successes that other farmers have had in their area, it really builds a community to learn from each other. This grant project consists of six objectives with the overall goal of increasing co-development of knowledge about the adoption of sustainable and resilient production practices. These objectives include increasing the knowledge and skills needed to implement and manage cover crop systems, irrigation scheduling, and variable rate irrigation, increasing the knowledge of the impact of cover crop and irrigation water management as it relates to efficient nutrient use, evaluating, documenting, and disseminating the agronomic, economic, and the environmental impacts of implementing and managing combined practices of cover crops and irrigation management. Establishing a network of learning sites in which farmers and researchers work together to increase adoption and improve management of sustainable and resilient production practices. And determining the barriers and limitations to implementing and managing cover crop systems and irrigation management through frequent farmer engagement. It's all about working to um, promote practices that we know um, have a positive impact on uh, soil and water quality. So practices like cover crops, precision irrigation, um, nutrient management. So incorporating some of these practices into one large you know, group of demonstrations throughout the state of Alabama. I hope that uh, together with the research team we will be able to see the power of collaboration with the growers that we're working with and to be able to learn from them about their most important problems but then we will also learn new techniques for engagement with producers. I think for the producer uh, a lot of times they are very removed from research unless they're part of the research and so I'd like the idea that we're going to have multiple agencies they're going to work together as well as the own farm trials. And so everybody's going to share in this project, they're going to share in the data, we're going to learn and we're going to make some mistakes. But hopefully we'll move the needle as far as what is capable production-wise on a farm. The farmers would like to see positive impacts on their farms in terms of productivity and perhaps return on investment. But farmers would like also to see a positive impact to the environment as a result of the adoption of these practices. So if we are able to show to the farmers and the farmers will see that these practices are going to have an impact to the environment, there will be more uh, ecosystem services, there will be more environmental benefits and economic benefits that will be reflected on the communities around those demonstration sites. It's good for everyone. It's good for the environment. It's good for the farmer because he's going to save money. It's good, uh, it's, it's good for, uh, from a social aspect because there are several taboos that are associated with the nutrient runoff and losses. So we are going to tackle several problems at once.